here I found a boy. <laughs> oh, by the way, um, do you like these things? Like chalking? If you go to TikTok, then you're gonna see a lot of foreign girls talking about Korean fuckboys. Mm -hmm. And actually, I used to say about these things too, because one, they were my actual experiences, and two, there are just so many girls who are into K-pop and they fantasize all the just, you know, like, ordinary guys. That's why I used to make these videos and it seems nowadays it became like a almost like a trend and everybody's talking like Korean guys, they are all f boys. But here I really wanted to say that mm -hmm, Nope, that's not true. That's not true everyone. Why are you guys are so extreme? Once I was talking with a Korean guy friend and he's a YouTuber and TikToker too and he was saying about these girls and he was like Okay, all oh, these girls, they are making content about boys in Korea and he was so pissed because he's Korean and he's actually such a nice person with like amazing like good looking appearance so he was like i don't really understand why they say about these things so they are actually experiencing these things right but the thing is that they have to reconsider where they met these fuck boys in korea and that really hit me hard actually so i've been thinking all of my relationships or datings or you know just like Small datings, yeah. I have been thinking about these things and then I was like, oh my god, all these horrible people, horrible Korean guys that I've met in my life, I met them through online dating apps. Yeah, online or at a club or bar. <laughs> and when I was making the horror story time videos and I got so many emails from you guys and they were mostly about your horror dating story with a Korean guy or a Korean girl. And most of you guys, of course, you guys met through online. This is why I never get sponsored by like dating apps anymore. I don't really want to promote like dating apps anymore. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed this or not, but I am not uploading like videos about fuckboys in Korea. Because I noticed that I was looking for guys from somewhere wrong. <laughs> and if you're doing this right now, stop it everyone. So where do you find these guys? Yeah, like I told you before, it can be like Tinder or like other Korean dating apps or language exchange apps or just anything online. Instagram? Yeah. Facebook? Yeah. Or TikTok? Yeah. All these online things? Just don't. Yeah, don't try to date any guys. Not just Korean guys or Korean girls. No. Just do not try to meet any people through online or yeah, if you ever come to Korea, then of course you can enjoy some clubs or like, you know, bars. Yeah, it's up to you. And I honestly, yeah, really like the nightlife culture in Korea. I like the atmosphere and it's fun actually. But mm -hmm, you should avoid these clubs. For example, Thursday party. <laughs> yeah, Thursday party or like clubs in Itaewon. Basically all the clubs actually, but yeah, there are some yeah, some weird people targeting innocent foreign women only or just basically they are just boys. So they are targeting just any women and not just about men, like women too. Yeah, they can do something bad through online or at a club or bar, right? So this is the problem, everyone. Did you realize that? Why you keep meeting all these bad guys in Korea? Did you realize? Yeah, because I realized that too. Okay, so for you guys, I decided to um, sacrifice myself. And I stopped using Tinder like years ago. It was it years ago, just one year ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I, I just signed up for Tinder again, again. Just to show you how many fuckboys are here. So let's see. 
But by the profile, I cannot really see. I just signed up and then wow, over 100 people, they liked me. Ooh, okay. I'm just gonna click like, 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 like. Okay. So basically, they look all kind of good. Yeah. Oh, it's a match. But here also do not generalize all the people because there are like small percentage of people who just want to talk to you through online dating apps. Yeah, there may be some people like them, but uh, women usually they think, oh, okay, yeah, with dating apps, I can actually date some people. But um, a lot of guys actually think that this is just a hookup app. Yeah, that's something that I realized. So you gotta be careful, everyone. Okay, I treat people online the same as people who I meet in person because we are still a human being online. Uh, okay, anyways, like and like and what the? They don't really write anything. Okay, again, they just write their height. What? The... Okay, here I found a f boy. <laughs> it's easy to find these guys online. Okay, transgenders, they love my face. What do you mean? And I like girls saying like naughty things more than Cardi B. <laughs> what? And I like uh, some girls who have like great reactions. For what? I want to think about you day and night. Okay, let's see your face. I don't know if it's like a stolen picture or not, but yeah, it's easy to see these like <sighs> profiles, right? It's easy to meet these people, but at least they are honest. I have just so many horror stories, so I'm gonna share with you like shortly everyone. So there were so many guys who were not paying for their meals and coffee, just anything. And they just met me through Tinder to get some free meals. Yeah, there's so many guys like them. Everybody's just complaining like, oh, okay, Koreans are ghosting a lot. Why is that? Because they accomplished their goal, so. And there was a one really normal, normal guy and he was so nice and he was so polite. Well, his face was just, eh, okay. But I liked how he was so smart and I really liked the way he talked, I mean, message, you know? <laughs> okay, all of a sudden, after talking like three weeks, he suddenly talked about this. He was like, Oh, by the way, um, do you like these things? Like choking? And at the time I was like... Just explain the reason! What was the reason? I don't even need to explain myself to you. And what was the reason? <laughs> I was expecting something more, like something romantic. But what he was looking for was like choking. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, oh my god. And I also noticed that there are so many mentals here. They need some help for their mental, but they don't go to the hospitals, but they are here. Yeah, a lot of people, they are suffering from depression. So if they're talking about their sad stories, just do not meet them. Do not feel sympathy and just avoid these people, okay? Okay, they sound like so normal, but you don't really know. Like after talking like months and then they're gonna say like, oh, can I choke you? Or some people, they just use Tinder to promote their Instagram or promote their business actually. Yeah, especially, you know, like fitness people. Yeah. <laughs> He's a model? YGK plus? Really? Okay. Ugh. I really hate these types of people like flexing their cars and like a businessman type. Oh, I really don't want to. Uh. Okay, lots of matches. It's this easy. It's this easy, everyone. Let's read together. Really? Is that your purpose? Is that why you are on Tinder? Because you want to read your book with someone else? <laughs> oh! Wait. That's my friend! <laughs> okay guys, never mind. My friend is on Tinder, so... Gosh! I mean, he's such a nice person. 
Okay. Um. <laughs> guys, never mind. I mean, there are some like normal people. <laughs> Gosh, what did you put? Oh my God, why did you flex your car? Stop doing that. <laughs> okay, I need to stop this. Oh my God. Um, it was kind of like a, an experiment and I really wanted to show you guys like how many fuckboys are there. I just wanted to show you guys these things and then I met my friend there. So I cannot really say anything. I mean... <sighs> okay, I guess some people they are just there. Um, just like me, right? <laughs> but anyways, I'm not gonna use this anymore. Um, and I really don't recommend you guys to use these things. Even if they are the same person, uh, where you meet is actually really, really important. So for example, there is the same guy, for example, like Jay. And then if you meet this guy like in real life through work or, or through your friend, then he's gonna act like so normal, right? But if you meet this guy through like Tinder, then this guy is gonna treat you just like whatever. Because he doesn't know you and there's no common friends. So I think this is really important. So where you meet these people. So I really recommend you guys like if you actually want to date, not specifically like Korean, but if you want to date somebody, then just don't go to online or don't go to like clubs or bars. But instead you can meet like in a natural way, I think that is the best. And not all Korean guys are boys because there are so many great people that I've met in real life. And looking back, all the great dates for me, they were all through like my friends or like at work. Yeah, those people, they were so nice to me. They treated me like a queen. But usually those like so many rude people, that I met in my life. Yeah, I met them through uh, usually Tinder. Yeah, no more online things or no more like clubs or like bars. Yeah, you gotta be careful everyone. So that's all I wanted to say for today's video. So if you were wondering like, why am I meeting always boys? And why are they ghosting me all the time? And why are they treating me like sh Then because Maybe this can be the reason. Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. And this top is uh, from another stories. Thank you so much. I'm gonna post this outfit photo on my Instagram. So please check out my Instagram. It's Gina Kim. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!